What's happening guys? What's going on? Welcome to another video of Ride with Raj and I am slowly slowly reaching the 50,000 mark of subscribers and I hope I reach that by this week. If that happens, it's really awesome. And first thing I want to thank you guys because of your support I have reached here. So folks, last time I had unboxed this bad boy. Yes, the SB2 series of Steelbird and a lot of people had questions on my channel that how will you motor vlog with it? How can you install a mic? How can you install a Bluetooth system? Well, I have done that last night. I was up till 5 o'clock and trying to discover all the means to attach my GoPro so I can start motor vlogging with this helmet. Too. I wanted to let you guys know that even if your budget is low for your helmets, in spite of having a long visor, how you can install a camera to this bad boy. And let's not waste time. Before I start installing the GoPro on this helmet, I should show you guys something, okay? Yes. So that's my mug and uh, i just thought i'll show it to you guys yeah it's my new logo and i hope you guys like my new logo and behind it says uh, life is good enjoy the ride and there's a motorcycle behind so basically a simple mug and also yes i have my collared polo neck t-shirt now which is which has my logo and the embroidery i went for the aqua blue because it really strikes out well, this is my mug and this is my t-shirt with my logo on it and I'm so happy to have it. Hope uh, you guys like my new logo and if you do, please comment below in the comment section. Now let's install the camera on that bad boy. So I have the camera with me now, all right, and um, you guys can already see uh, my mic extension which is hanging out for the GoPro. Yes, I have installed this last night. I spent two hours on this bad boy uh, and you must be curious to know how I did it. So I'm going to show it to you guys now. Everything what is equipped in this helmet. Okay, so let me open the visor. So now let's open the visor. Okay, so after using my strength to open this visor, you can already see that the ASG Bluetooth is installed. All right, friends, I have already done this video in past. If you've not seen, please check it out on my channel. This is the Bluetooth system which I had got long back and I had done the installation on my Kranos as well as on the Revolt. I've removed the ASG specially to install on this helmet to see if I can motor vlog here or not. Okay, the Bluetooth is completely working fine. Uh, I'll show it to you where the speakers are. If you see this pocket inside, this is where I have installed the speakers. So the helmet cushioning is removable. It completely detaches from the helmet. You can install the wire and take it all over here and uh, put your system. And if you're wondering where the charging point is, so the charging point is just behind the strap. So it will not affect you. You can just put this down and, this, and the charging point will be hidden behind. So it won't affect you. That's the Bluetooth device. If you want, you can tuck it inside. If you want to talk, keep it up, you can keep it up. But I prefer it down, so I just push it down and now it's gone down. You can't even see it. It's not visible. So people won't even know that I have a Bluetooth system in this helmet because I have actually tucked it down. Now talking about my mic system for the GoPro. Yes, I have also installed the mic system for my GoPro. If you guys see very, very carefully, right here. Alright, so I have put the mic here. I have taken it all over the helmet and this is the extension for the GoPro. Now the biggest question is, how do I install the GoPro? How do I mount it on this helmet? Because the visor is so long that it actually covers the chin area. So where will I do it? Now there are two options I had to install the GoPro on it. One was to mount on the side angle, which was also very decent, but I wanted the GoPro to be near my chin area so that it's easier and it looks a little decent. Whenever something is additional to your helmet, because of the wind blast, I get scared that I might lose my GoPro or something like that. It doesn't fall off, but I just have that fear in my mind and I don't go on great speeds. Well, having a GoPro here near the chin area is always good because it's not against the wind. It's towards the helmet, so it's kind of safer. All right. Yeah. So the biggest question is, how do I install a GoPro on this? How do I mount it? So let's proceed with that and see how I do it. The most important thing, you guys know about my wrist strap, all right? Not the Nivea one, which I had done a revolution video of people who didn't have action cameras and wanted to still shoot. That was for the iPhone and other Android phones. But this is a wrist strap you can get in the market. I'll just show it to you how it looks. This is how it is. Basically, this came with my entire kit of mounts. I got that kit from Amazon long back when I had purchased my GoPro. It was for 2000 rupees. I had got a chest mount, a float mount, 
a wrist mount, a head mount. Head mount you already saw in my Goa vlogs. If you have not seen my Goa vlogs, check them out. Well, this is the wrist mount, all right, on which I have installed the housing. All right, this is the same housing which I had drilled a hole for the mic system. And I'm gonna use this now. This is the helmet, all right. First thing we gotta do is, uh, now that I have installed my mic, I have installed my Bluetooth system. The first thing you gotta do is open the visor. In this mount, you're supposed to put in your screw pin. You're supposed to put your housing. And uh, if a lot of people have this mount, they already know that this can revolve 360 by pressing this button here. Okay, so I've kept it on a simple mode and locked it. Very simple. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, put this here, take the strap around the chin area. You can see that, that I'm putting the Velcro now. The Velcro belt goes inside. Okay, now that I've put the Velcro on, all you gotta do is turn the mount this way. Okay, friends. If your helmet's gonna be tilted this way, you have to make sure that your GoPro is a little bit turned this way. Now, uh, you're wondering how will the visor shut and will it have a gap? Yes, it will have a gap for a little bit of air coming in, all right? But I have a mic system, it's pretty good. Secondly, when I shut this visor, if you notice very carefully, now that I've shut the visor, you can see that there is a very little gap here and there is a rubber beading here already. So I have not tested this properly yet, but I'm gonna do it today. So we'll have a complete review that does this work or not. So guys, if it works, it's good. If it's not, I'm sorry about it. But for short distances, for uh, like a 80 to 100 kilometer of speed, I think this would do wonders. So I'm pretty excited for that. And this is how the whole system is. Now, if you guys are wondering how how it'll look when I'll wear it, I'll do that right away. So let's mount the GoPro and let's proceed with it. So do note, uh, this will be upside down. So in the software which you're using to edit, make sure you completely rotate the video uh, at a 360 degrees so you get the right idea about it. Friends, finally, my GoPro is installed. All right, my mic is installed, my Bluetooth is installed. This bad boy is ready to go. Now the question is, will it work? Let's try it. All right. Okay, friends. So I am finally wearing the helmet. Okay. And now uh, let's start the GoPro and see the angle. While I'm sitting on the bike this way. All right. This is where I'll be getting. So let's start the GoPro. Okay, friends. The next clip is from the GoPro. And the best way to check this is, uh, does it work while uh, shutting the visor? Well, this is how it looks after shutting the visor and it's not bad and now uh, we should really test this on the road either even the visor it's not obstructing easy to open and shut this is how i'm mounting it if you guys don't like this setup and if you want the actual gopro mounting then this is the best area where i saw the visuals are really amazing and dynamic but a little bit of the visor is shown and I thought that's obstructing my view, which I don't like. I prefer the uh, I prefer the mounting near the chin area, so I have a panoramic view right now, and uh, that's good. So now let's not waste time. Let's take this bad boy on the Vespa and see how it is, and uh, demonstrate it, right? Because we need to be sure before I take it for motor vlogging. I just hope my mobile doesn't fall off from this because it's jerking a lot. Okay, now let's. Uh let's see how the view is well that was a look of uh, me on the scooter but unfortunately my camera was shaking a lot and uh, i hope i'm audible let's uh, discuss the points obviously this uh, tinted shield is very good for me because i don't have to wear sunglasses Guys, I would not recommend this um, this shade in the night because right now uh, it's quite sunny. I'm gonna go in the sunny patch now. Okay. By the way, this is my new Love and Lade hangout. This is where I'm gonna edit the video today's video. 
Okay, I'm finally on the back road. Okay, friends. Uh, see, it's quite sunny, and uh, this visor is really working like my sunglasses. And uh, I'm going decent speed. I think yeah, 60. You guys can see that I'm at 60. I'm uh, sitting very uh, normal posture. And uh, sunny day. It's quite sunny. So yeah. I don't know the I don't know how the video will turn out to be because I have not tested yet. Once I check it on the laptop, I think it will give me a surprise that ha has it turned out to be good or bad. If it's a success, uh, tomorrow I am planning a ride on my GT. Uh, so I will be wearing the same helmet and doing a test ride. And if it really works, I think this is going to be a good helmet at a good budget. Even for motor vlogging and uh, you know, picking up phone calls. If you if you are in an emergency and you get a call because I got the Bluetooth system now. And it feels good also to ride my scooty without traffic. Yeah, so I'm not going to spend much time uh, riding and uh, doing this review because um, uh, this has to be more on how my installation was. And uh, yes, decent speed. It's not affecting me. I can't make out something's hanging around my chin area uh, on this helmet. A very intact helmet and uh, overall a nice feel. Uh, I think the best way to get the right output whoopsie okay the best way iron 83 guys we got iron 83 wow so smooth okay the best way to check this setup which I have done on this helmet will be when I'll tomorrow do motor vlog I'll ride uh, to a certain place and uh, I think then I'll get the exact idea that what are the pros and cons of uh, you know this helmet. So far the vision is really working very well for me. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. And as usual, stay tuned for my motor vlogs coming soon. Eat well, sleep well, be good. Signing off, Ride with Raj.